and we have uh, pro proposed to build six economic corridors with these six four countries. 那么第一条是传统的，就是欧亚大陆桥，就是从北京经过呃西伯利亚到莫斯科，这个叫这个这这这个呃呃将近一百年的这个欧亚大陆桥。And the first is the most traditional Eurasia Line Bridge, which connects Beijing through Moscow. 呃，第二条是经济走廊，是第二条是欧亚大陆桥，叫叫新欧亚大陆桥。就是从中国大年代，呃，江苏的宁远港，经过兰州，呃，经过新疆到中亚，从中亚再分两条线到欧洲。And the second is the is named the New Eurasian Line Bridge, which connects Nianyang, Lanzhou, and Central Asia to Europe. 呃，第三条就是中国呃走廊，中国西亚，呃，中国。中亚、西亚这些走廊。And the third is China, Central Asia, and West Asia economic corridor. 那么从哈登从呃新疆出境，经过中亚到呃伊朗到那个中东国家。And it connects Xinjiang and Central Asia and Iran and other Middle East countries. 那第四条就是刚才巴基斯坦朋友说的中巴经济走廊。and the fourth is the China-Pakistan economic corridor. And the fifth is China-Myanmar corridor. And the sixth is the connection China with Southeast countries. And the sixth is the connection China with Southeast countries. And this is the main focus of the BRI. 那么后来，随着越来越多建设成果的推进，后来越来越多的非传统丝绸之路国家都提出要跟我们开展一带一路合作。那么，在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在我们在
uh, the ambassador from Pakistan pointed out, the BRI is a global initiative. 那么，呃，就是，那么我来以后跟瑞典，呃，政府，呃，官员们也就一带一路合作，呃，进行了，呃，探讨。I also have exchanged views with the Swedish government officials about Sweden joining the BRI cooperation. 我感到，呃，呃，瑞典政府对，呃，他们一带一路合作，呃，还是非常积极的。I think they have a very positive attitude.呃，但是我感觉到。呃，还有一些瑞法朋友，包括呃第三国的朋友，还有一些疑虑。I think many Swedish friends and other friends from other countries have some doubts about it. 把一带一路合作跟跟解决政治，跟这个跟跟跟外交等结呃这个挂起过来。I think connect the BRI with geopolitics and the diplomatic agenda. 呃，所以我特别提醒大家。注意我刚才在这次中讲的一带一路五个不是。So I want to direct your attention to the five no in my remark just now. 刚才我讲了，呃，中一带一路已经面向全球。那如果说一带一路是中国的一个敌人政治战略谋略，那我们中国容纳不了全球，发展不了全球。as I said, the BRI is a global initiative. If we use it as a geopolitical tool, it will not derive. 还有人说一带刚开始还有人说一带一路是马歇尔计划实际上马歇尔计划是我就不说了是美国单方面帮助援助西欧战后重建 Someone said it is a modern Marshall Plan, but I I want to point out that Marshall Plan is a U.S. bilaterally provide aid to Western European countries. China is a little bit more than China, but we are 14 people. Our GDP is about 8,000 baht. We have to improve our own people's life and improve our own people's life. And our own people's life is a little bit more than China. We have no money to go to China and go to China and go to China. We have no money to go to China. Yes, China now have, have some money, but uh, we have a large population, and we want to use that money to improve their livelihood. And we have no extra money to throw it uh, abroad. 但是世界，中国的发展离不开世界各国的发展。But China's development can be alienated from uh, other countries' development. 所以我们还要通过呃呃力所力所能及的开展呃我们还要通过开展国际经济合作。来，呃，呃，实现，呃，中国，呃，来帮助中国和呃，实现其他国家共同发展。But we want to promote common development between China and other countries through international cooperation. 嗯，所以“一带一路”是一个，是一个中国跟有关国家合资、合资、合力建设。BRI is pursued by. For every country to pull their efforts and cutting together. China Jinzhou Land has developed the scale and scale very well. Pakistan government has put a lot of money and resources into the development. And to achieve the rapid growth and high quality of the China-Pakistan economic corridor, the Pakistan government has also spared no efforts to build it. So I hope that. 一些对我们“一带一路”有合作有有呃疑虑或者是质疑的朋友，呃，可以组团到呃呃中亚国家、到巴基斯坦、到非洲国家去调研“一带一路”成果，然后再发表意见。Uh, I suggest uh, friends who have doubts about the GRI can、um, form a delegation to visit. And the Central Asia countries, and especially Pakistan and Africa, to do a field research and then express your opinions. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just would add that uh, the concept that, uh, of the map for the world land bridge outlines a, as I pointed out, a totally new potential a new paradigm, a new way of thinking. It means that people have to end, uh, and this is 
a problem for many in the West to give up a kind of lingering arrogance that they must uh, decide over uh, thought processes that are not necessarily within their own framework or historical ways of thinking. Now the founder of the Schiller Institute has also identified in light of these ideas a notion for a, a universal dialogue of cultures which essentially lifts the, um, the suspicion and the doubts which are not only based on the basis for collaboration is win-win, but it also includes a need for Sweden, as I pointed out, to open up again the Confucian Institute, to understand that allowing Chinese culture to mingle in a clear way and an open way, both sides gain dramatically, and mankind goes forward. This is not only China and Sweden, it includes Russia, it includes a general view that ends geopolitics, that ends the idea <clears throat> that they're out, we can't trust them, they're out to take over the world. It's as if the old British model looks in the mirror at itself and sees China or sees the other people that they are afraid of. So the idea, the urging that we have this dialogue of culture, that Sweden joins in that aspect also of the Belt and the Road. Uh, as I was very fortunate to be invited to a wonderful uh, 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 cultural event that the Chinese Embassy sponsored at the circus, and it was astounding how wonderful and positive Chinese culture is. This should be something made available to all of Swedes. It isn't being made at this time, but we would urge that that become, that that happens. Thank you. I know that there are more questions. Give me one. I got a very, very, one last very short Thank question. Thank you very much, Ebra, for great remarks, uh, all of you. I have uh, a very short question, and it demands a very short answer as well, I believe, uh, due to the time limit. So, um, can you name one hinder or one problem with the Belt and Road Initiative? Each one of you, one problem and one solution. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Challenge. Challenge. Yeah. Thank you very I think much. it's the right challenge. point. Yeah. Use the challenge. I think it's no problem. Challenge. Ah,一带一路，包括呃，一带一路，我刚才讲了，只是以基础设施建设、连互联互通为为为主线，但是一带一路合作对我们有感化。包括包括经济这个基础设施建设投资金融呃还有人文交流如果说中瑞之间一带一路合作存在的问题的话那么我要回答的就是有一次我跟瑞典一位重要的朋友 呃，会见的时候，他向我提一个问题。呃，if there is a problem uh, Chinese investment
Well, one enormous problem for the West, to, to the Western countries to join the Belt and Road is the incredible speculation that is dominating its financial system. And that problem is not being addressed in a serious way, even since the crisis of 2008. The problem has been worsened by printing more and more paper that is simply going into more speculation by the banks and austerity on the matters of general investment, where people are complaining there is no money. Unless that problem is cleaned up, as it was by um, American President Franklin Roosevelt with the Glass-Steagall uh, policy, which in that time he closed the banks. It was a bank holiday one day, and he cleaned it out, and any bank that wanted to be reopened when they went through the books had to abide by a credit policy, which would mean investments into real production. If that would happen in the West or in Sweden, there would be available means to finance the kind of things that are necessary to go forward with the Belt and Road. I think it offers us a lot of uh, avenues of cooperation. I do not find any problem in this form. In this initiative, I, I don't think so. Since uh, the initialization of this project, 64 countries have uh, uh, approached us for joining this CPAC, and uh, it has opened uh, new avenues of cooperation between the rich and us. Uh, as I mentioned, that Pakistan is located on the crossroads of five regions South Asia, uh, Middle East. West Asia, Central Asia, East Asia to China and Africa. So there is a lot of enthusiasm about this project. I will just give you one example about the Central Asian countries. That 23, 25 years ago they were not in the band. After the collapse of Soviet Union, the six Central Asian countries, they came into being. And they were totally landlocked. But this CPAC, it has opened openness for those six countries to, to come and trade with other countries through this route via Indian Ocean. And I, I, I was previously working as Director General in East Asia Pacific in Ministry of Foreign Affairs Islamabad. And I heard from, I saw from the reports that many Central Asian, you know, heads of the states, presidents and prime minister suggesting to the ASEAN countries, to the African countries, that please now send us your goods through Pakistan and to those capitals. And this is only possible because of CPAC. This is a project of cooperation and a win-win situation for us. Now it is up, up to us that whether we want to live in the history or whether we want to uh, be dictated by preconceived political notions or seize this opportunity and go for cooperation. I think this is the future and this is the win-win win -win -win situation for every one of us. Thank you. Uh, I would just simply say that uh, the key challenge uh, is uh, awareness, something that uh, this seminar was convened to address because uh, the concept and the philosophy underpinning the, uh, the, the One Belt, One Road initiative is not well reported. It's uh, almost in the margins of the uh, broad international media. So people in Africa uh, are not really uh, well informed about it. In Europe is also the same. So uh, the solution that we need is to have more reporting about it, have more uh, articles in the media, have more uh, examples of uh, uh, successes and, and work done so that uh, uh, the idea could be uh, understood and supported. And most importantly, uh, the philosophy behind 
uh, the initiative is very important to shift